It's the 6th century BC. God's people are in exile in Babylon because they just couldn't stop worshiping idols and betraying the one true God. They've been there long enough now to start wondering if God has abandoned them among the heathens, if God even hears their prayers anymore. After all, why would he? They have plenty of cause for worry because they've stopped doing the one thing that God asked them to do in his covenant that they've lived under since the time of Moses. Worship him only. Worship only the one true God who brought them out of exile and slavery. So now what? Do they live in despair, counting the days until they die, wondering if there's ever going to be a rescue? And they could do that if they continue to ignore the Lord's word to them. But the God who says, I will never leave you nor forsake you, has a plan and a promise. And so he raises up Ezekiel as a prophet. He raises up one who never had a chance to be priest in the temple of Jerusalem to speak his words of promise to his doubtful and despairing people far from home. There are magnificent visions, strange acted out prophecies, words of condemnation and discipline, and ultimately, tender promises of restoration. Because God our Father always remembers his promises. Always. Even when those promises come in the form of dry bones resurrected, sheep brought into safe pastures, and a heavenly Jerusalem coming down in which they will dwell in safety. God the Father always speaks in love. Sure, it's hard to hear those words sometimes. When the one true God turns his eyes upon you, you might doubt that it is with love that he speaks. But it is always there was fear and there was doubt in the streets of Babylon, but God the Father had promised that he would rescue his people. And he always keeps his promises. Even if it isn't the way that we think he should, or on the timeline that we think he should, God your Father always keeps his promises to you, right on time. He keeps them in Jesus, who is always with you.